I'm really f***ing scared. Hello? Namaste? All, all haunted number one. In India? India. Thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. I have a very special episode for you guys today. This is a first for my channel. Today we're going to be exploring and then staying around until night time to investigate a haunted beach. so excited to be at this location I'm currently in India and this beach was a place that a lot of my viewers you guys recommended to me uh, when you found out I was coming to India and it has a massive reputation for being one of the most haunted places in the country and it's just so cool to be here it's uh, known as Dumas Beach hopefully I'm saying that right because I didn't actually look up pronunciation before we came here now it is quite busy at the moment it's pretty uh, bustling tourist destination by day at least uh, so we're gonna walk further out towards where I assume the ocean is I can't actually see it but we're gonna walk out there and just see what's going on but this is a bit sludgy so we'll just see what oh my gosh I don't know how far we're gonna get in this <laughs> and it's like kind of deep or getting deeper why aren't you sinking light as a feather stiff as a board let me come over where you are walking. <laughs> Actually, my boots are already fucked anyway. <laughs> hey, Ames, if this is the beach, where's the water? I don't know. I don't know. That's what I mean. Like, <laughs> it's like mud. I reckon there's just this mud sludge all the way out because I can't see any water. Maybe I can the, see people out there. But... Maybe the tide's out. Yes, it is. There's people walking out there. How do we get out there through the sludge? Oh no, that's a bush. Hang okay. on, there was someone out there though. Getting deeper. <laughs> Sounds. Oh no, don't tell me this is another catacombs all over again. <laughs> this might be worse than the catacombs. At least the catacombs wasn't brown. Yeah, that's it. So by day. There's heaps of people here. They're on their camels, they're on their horses, they're on their motorcycles, and whatever the hell that thing is. And they're all having a good time. But apparently at night everyone vacates because they're so scared of the ghosts. So we're gonna hang around until dark to see if that is the case. Sorry about the noise guys, someone's ripping around on a quad bike down there, but I did want to make note about the sand. And this has to do with why it is believed that this beach is so haunted. Um, so supposedly they say that this used to be a burial ground. They used to bury the dead on this beach. And the reason why the sand appears black is they say it's actually ashes from cremated bodies being mixed with the sand that has turned it black. And then I guess there's some spirits that have left some leftover energy and they're the ones fought to still roam the beach, particularly at night. If we get down here, you can definitely see this is black sand, or I mean, there's definitely black parts of the sand. So I don't know if I'm just playing with dead people ashes here and I'm standing in them or that's a local uh, legend or anything. It certainly is very creepy and disturbing, but that's why they say that the sand is black here.
So is it bad to be standing under these power lines? I don't know. I mean... I swear I've seen that on like a current affair before or something, right? Yeah, maybe. There's a lot of these uh, big concrete slabs at the bottom of them and people are just hanging out. It's like a picnic spot where... I don't know. You know, you go to the beach and you like lay out your towel. Some people have little tents to pitch and all sorts. They just come and sit under the power lines. I don't know what the health concerns of that are. I'm sure maybe it's like long term exposure. I'm sure it's fine for a day. I don't know. What do you think it looks like? Pirate ship sail? Pirate ship sail? I reckon it looks like a ghost. It's got like a head and a body. It looks like a So the sun is setting and we're just waiting to lose our last light and we are going to hang around here tonight because this is a very well known place in India for being haunted. It has quite the reputation. One of the cool things about it which is very creepy to know is that a lot of people who have come to the beach at night have gone missing and many people believe that this could be the ghosts taking them. So I mentioned uh, earlier that this was supposedly a burial ground and people say that late at night they see apparitions walking down the beach. There's also been strange light anomalies and what people believe are spirit orbs captured in photographs here. But what I find really creepy is the reports of disembodied voices coming from here. So voices, screams, and strange laughter. So it's gonna be a very interesting night and I'm very excited to lose light and to try and reach out and see if we can make contact with any spirits that might be here. So Jared, what do you think about all these missing people? Do you love it when I take you to these places? I don't care. I mean, the missing people probably just get stuck in the mud. <laughs> that is true. There is a lot of mud, mud out there. And then the tide comes in and they drown. You think someone could actually get stuck in that? I nearly got stuck in my boots were coming off as I was walking. Oh, was... More yeah. selfies. <laughs> we got absolutely swarmed by people for selfies. <laughs> How many About pictures did we just to take? 30 people. All surrounding us wanting to have photos of us and that's what we love about India. <laughs> it's funny that you feel like a famous person here or something. But we have just lost the sun. I can't actually see it anymore. So hoping that everyone is scared of the ghosts and leaves soon and we can get going with investigating Dumas Beach. We're getting home there's nothing really out here and we don't have a phone reception so we have no internet and no way to call anyone we're guessing it's gonna be about a two-hour walk back I'm sure like if we had to walk back we would find a little tuk-tuk rickshaw thing on the way back or or someone that would pick us up but no. It's going to be a rough night, I think. It's always a rough night. Always. Every time we go out. Because <laughs> we don't have a car. If we had a car, everything would be easier. Yeah, I know. We're too scared to drive here in a lot of these countries. Particularly India. The road and traffic, uh, all the rules that are here just are so foreign to us that I feel like we couldn't adapt quick enough to be good on the road. And we don't want to spend the money hire, uh, to like hire a car, our own car.
Too much speech. beach. Too, too much beach. The ghost. Haunted. Yeah, haunted. All all haunted number one. Number in India. India, India, India? haunted number one. Okay, so that guy that came up to us on the quad bike and said, very haunted, very haunted, uh, something about the police, and we have to go. Um, and we spoke to him and we showed him my YouTube and he seemed to like it, I think. <laughs> and I think he understood that we're here to try and film. But, I mean, now he's saying the police, I think he was saying the police are up here and they're clearing out the beach, so maybe they don't want us down here. He also kept insisting we got on his quad bike to leave. I think it seemed like he was scared that we would be here because it's very haunted and he says this area is where the ghosts are. So, I mean, knowing us, we want to kind of just stay here. We told him that we we're going to walk and follow him, but I don't know what we should do now. He's left us alone. Maybe we just walk slowly. Yeah, I, don't, I really don't know. I read one article that said it is completely forbidden to be on this beach after dark. And it does look like all the people have cleared out up there now. Now the f***ing police are coming at us. <laughs> Just keep filming. Hello, sir, come Hello. fast, come fast. Yeah, we're, we're, go, go. yeah we're, going, we're going, we're going. Okay, they really want us off the beach. They say it's haunted. Haunted and the ghosts are dangerous and they're scared that we're on this beach. Okay, so I don't actually know if that was official police. One of them seemed kind of official. It was like telling us to get off the beach. It's haunted, whatnot. So we left, but we kind of just went across the other side of this uh, big rock retaining wall. We're just hiding in a bush now and just hoping everyone just leaves and we can go back to the beach to investigate. I don't know if they're going to patrol it or what. That bell's creepy. That bell is creepy. Everything here is creepy. And we're trying to not have any lights on either so people can't see us. So we're just standing here in the dark basically, waiting. Oh my gosh, I just want to investigate if this beach truly is as haunted as they say. We need to get out there. <laughs> we can't tell if they're coming to us or not. <sighs> Did you hear that? I don't know what the fuck we both just saw. It was like a massive flash of light in the sky. And it actually looked like lightning. But there's no clouds around. The only thing I could think is maybe it's something man-made. The power cables zapping or something? Do they do that in the light. dark? I have no idea. <laughs> But I feel like if it came from anywhere, it came from that way, which is away from the power lines. But, um... What's that? It sound like a drum? In the distance. Does it sound like there's still people on the beach? I don't know, do you want me to 
go have a look over the stones. still clearing off the beach. There's still people out there with lights but I think it's people clearing up the shops that are out there. I don't think it's anyone from the public so I think they're just finishing up. We're not going to go on the beach again just yet because I reckon they've still got a, well they've got a motorbike I can hear it out there. What's interesting is we just seen another light up the entire sky flash of light. Both of us in it can. We both sent it again. Again, not accompanied by any sound. No planes? There's no plane. There is an airport nearby. Maybe it's something. I have no idea what it could be. There's no, there was no planes at the time, though. No planes, no sound, just a massive... It's almost like when there's a massive strike of lightning and it lights, illuminates the entire night sky. Except there and was no thunder. Th yeah, there's no thunder to go with it. There's no... No actual light source it, we just see it light up the sky so we've had it happen twice now both off camera twice. And I don't know if anyone's watching from around here and you know what it might be is it something from the airport or who knows Okay guys, I'm about to run a ghost tube, I'm going to hit it right now. I have um, Hindi set, so we might receive words. Uh, you can probably hear motorbikes in the background, there's motorbikes, there's music going on. This, we've been waiting for a long time for this place to quieten down and it hasn't. We don't know where the people are. They don't seem to be on the beach anymore. There is a fire going out there though. So we don't want to get too close to it. It's going to be super difficult to pick up EVPs just because we're not going to be able to establish what it is that um, we're hearing because there's so much uh, noise pollution here. My magnetic readings look quite steady actually. We weren't really sure how these electrical. Oh, okay. So we just got a word. Because I don't speak Hindi, I don't know what that word was, so I'm going to have to translate it afterwards. I do feel, I gotta say, I feel like this place is scary, but that's more because we kind of almost got chased off the beach and everyone seemed really concerned that we were here. We've seen some weird light anomalies and it just feels like an odd place with all these cables, these power cables at night and I can definitely picture people coming out here and getting super scared. I'm really interested to know what that word might have been. And just because we received a word, it doesn't mean that it's paranormal at all. It could just be um, just a random anomaly that we received. We'll see if it is relevant to any of the backstory of this beach, which is that it was a burial ground um, a long time ago. The reason the sand is black is because it is mixed with ashes. Or so they say. So yeah, supposedly. I don't know if that's 
just one of those rumors that accumulates over time or there's another reason why the sand is the color that it is. There are a lot of factories in that around. That is true. I'm gonna stop the ghost tube now just for a sec. Just to sort of give it a rest. Um I don't know if you're kind of feeling this too. Normally with paranormal you talk about sudden temperature drops and when people say the spirits around it gets super cold but I keep getting wafts of it feels like almost hot air well, I'm not getting that you're not getting that but I think I did just see some lights behind you in the distance they're gone now okay just over your right shoulder through the oh you're looking through the lens fine mm -hmm. yeah. but I think I did just see yeah. but I think I did just see yeah. but I think I did just see Well, it's interesting because they say light anomalies is a uh, big thing that they capture or people sight at this beach. I want to know what those lights were that were above our heads earlier. I know, I'm very interested in that. on the beach now and we just scaled the rock retaining wall. We're just gonna go for a walk. I'm just gonna go for a walk. I'm not gonna use my spirit box. Or maybe I should, I haven't decided yet. Just because we don't want to get caught and get in trouble or like kicked off. So I think what we might do is go for a walk and just be really raw with this investigation I will let you know if I am feeling anything I don't claim to be sensitive or any, anything like that but I think one thing that I don't do on my channel is use myself as a investigation tool which everyone says that you should you know follow your feelings or intuitions or senses or whatever. I can hear a music in the background, so I feel like we can't really listen out for EVPs. Anything that we're recording now is kind of polluted footage or polluted sound because there is so much noise around me. I can hear the buzzing of the, what are they, Electri electricity ones? feel almost like a static prickling sensation all over my head and I'm not claiming it's a paranormal effect but I'm not even claiming it's an effect from these power lines it could just completely be in my head but I think just the noise that is there it's just <laughs> making me feel it's like when you talk about bugs and you suddenly feel itchy making me feel like that with these power lines here on the beach so I don't know if that's relevant to debunking anything here but we're gonna do a spirit box I'm just gonna man up and do one I am going to be speaking in Hindi and I don't actually speak Hindi but I've got some questions I've written out from Google Translate on my phone and we're just gonna see how we go Namaste, Mira Nam Amy, hey? Hello, my name is Amy. Kia up, but Karenge. 
Would you like to talk? I thought I heard, yeah? I thought that too. Could be part of a cutoff word though, that sounds like yeah, but I heard it. Timhara Nam Kyam He. What is your name? Kayum who? Why are you here? Hello? Namaste? Hello. Talk to me. Yahan. Yahan. Kitney. Bute. How many ghosts are here? Danya Vodalvida. Thank you, goodbye. Okay, so I didn't want to do one for too long. We did get voices through. Um, nothing to me that sounded really distinct, but again, I don't speak Hindi. If you do speak Hindi and you're watching this and you noticed a word or something that sounded like a phrase or an answer to any of those questions, please drop me a comment. I would love to know your interpretation of what you heard. It's, it is frustrating not knowing in the moment if anything came through. We did hear something that sounded like, yeah, to one of the questions, but that could just be our brains, you know, wired to hear and understand English, that that's what we could kind of pick out, so. I'm really f***ing scared. We are uh, trying to find our way out of here, just walking along the beach. There's, we don't actually know where we're going. We have no reception or internet or anything out here. We haven't even been this way down the beach. We're just heading down it now, hoping that we can get to what kind of looks like a town because there's lights there. And then hoping we can get a taxi or, or one of those little tuk-tuk things to take us back to our hotel. Otherwise it's a two hour walk. Yeah, otherwise, I don't know if I can walk that far. I... Yeah, we kind of stranded a bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was actually a pretty scary adventure. So I just wanted to fill you in and let you know that I made it back to the hotel room safely. Not before though, Jared and I had to walk for about 40 minutes in the pitch black of night on a beach that was haunted and that we weren't allowed to be on. And then as we ascended that big rock retaining wall, there was a dog, there was completely nothing around us and we walked for a lot longer down a really dodgy road. We actually made it to the little town of Dumas and we were lucky because we went to an ice cream shop and not only did we get ice cream but we also had someone help us organise a driver who got us back to the hotel room. So we're very thankful for that adventure ending safely. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe, that all really helps me out. If you want to read more about Dumas Beach or other haunted places I've visited in India, head to amyscrypt.com. And remember guys, until next time, stay spooky. I actually read online that 
dogs are affected by the paranormal activity at this beach and some of them really don't like it. And I know that animals, you know, there's theories that they can sense spirits' presence and that. We've seen a few dogs here and they don't really seem to care or mind. There's some really cute puppies out here too. making them less cute. <laughs> Crabs or something? Puppies! Puppies! I think they'll just be hungry. 